With satellite images, we can look at the world and see whatever is going on from satellites. One of the things you could look at is how much light there is at night. That could be an indicator of economic growth. You could look at uh, roads with traffic. You could look at creeks and roads. Basically, you can look at whatever you want to and analyze the entire surface of the Earth in a few minutes. Imagine as simple photography where you can recognize the person or the object in the image. If you have an entire image of the world's surface, it will be too big and too granular for you to see what's going on on the image. But with AI, we can look at the entire surface of the Earth and see what's going on. So things we could look at would be deforestation, which initiatives are helping deforestation. We could look at traffic and congestion. We could look at how well roofs are isolated. We could look at the conditions of the roads. Basically, whatever you would be able yourself to see in a small picture, you can look at at scale on the entire surface of the Earth in just a few minutes. So here's three reasons why you can't work with satellite images the way that you usually do with deep learning and ordinary images. The first problem is that the image that you're capturing is actually a surface on a circle. So even though your image looks square, actually from point A to point B, the distance is not this distance, because that distance would be the same as going underneath the Earth. So this distance here might look a bit more like this. And of course, if the image was taken down here, the circle would go the other way. So how do you control that? And how do you even measure the distance between these two points? Well, you use something called GIS, that is the short way of making sure that you're counting distances the right way. The next problem with satellite images is that typically they have a very high resolution, something like 30,000 pixels by 20,000 pixels. The size of this image might be one gigabyte, and that's way too much for a computer doing deep learning to handle. The way that you solve that typically is that you split the images into smaller tiles. Let's say this time. And this picture might be something like 500 by 500 pixels. That is certainly something that could fit into a deep learning system. The next problem, of course, and that's the, the last problem we need to think about, is if you just get this square, Where from the surface of the world does this come from? And what's the orientation? Is this north or is this north? It can be really hard to tell. So the way you solve that is you look at something called CRS. It's Coordinate Reference Systems. And it's a coordinate system, just like the ones you know from school. So any single pixel on the image will be positioned somewhere in this CRS system. A very famous example of CRS systems is the GPS system that we all know. So every single position on the surface of the Earth is positioned in the, CR in the CRS, which could be the GPS in some cases. So if you keep these three things in mind, the thing that the surface of the Earth is actually round, you keep in mind that the image is way too big to fit into memory, and that you need to want to split it up to keep track of it in the right way, if you do those three things, you'll be able to use deep learning on satellite images. Using the techniques from this video, we counted that there's 83 million acres of corn in the United States and 2.7 million cars Monday morning on the roads in United Kingdom. Think about what else we could count on a satellite image and what would be relevant for your business. If you come up with any ideas, we'd be glad to hear from you and you can always reach out to us for help.